Hi, my name is Keith Arnold with Ten Point and Wicked Ridge Crossbows. I'm here today to go over crossbow optics and help you decide which optic is right for you. First, we have the multi-line scope. This is a standard multi-reticle crossbow scope um, that offers four or five different aiming points. Um, it's non-illuminated. This is just the standard optic uh, for a crossbow scope. Moving up, we have the ProView Illuminated Reticle Crossbow Scope. So this offers the same multi-reticle or multiple lines or aiming points, but it also has illumination. So with the turn of a dial, you can light up the crosshairs, um, providing better visibility at low light. Um, this is a fantastic option for a lot of crossbow hunters since most shots occur within 20 to 40 yards. Um, it's a good option because it gets the job done and it provides more confidence in lower light shooting conditions. Next, we have the variable speed or variable power crossbow scope. In this case, this is the Rangemaster 100. So this scope offers a number of different features. First, it offers illumination, as I mentioned before, so it gives better low light shooting um, accuracy and visibility. Secondly, a variable speed crossbow scope allows you to adjust the aiming points so your multiple aiming points can be adjusted for the speed of the crossbow so that, for example, your 60 yard aiming point is dead on for 60 yards. Variable speed crossbow scopes are a great choice for um, individuals who want to practice at longer ranges or may encounter longer shots while hunting. One point of clarification on a variable speed crossbow scope is oftentimes they're advertised as a, a two to seven power, so a variable zoom. Um, in reality, the zoom of the crossbow or the magnification is directly related to the speed of the crossbow. So um, once you have your scope calibrated for the speed and dialed in, um, you really cannot adjust to a variable magnification because it will impact your aiming points. Uh, to sight in a variable speed crossbow scope, you would simply um, set the speed of the scope to the advertised speed of your crossbow. You would then um, sight your crossbow scope in at 20 yards, making whatever windage uh, and elevation adjustments were necessary. And then you would move back to 50 yards using your 50 yard aim point and take a few shots. If your arrows are hitting high, that's saying that you're, you need to adjust the speed of your scope up slightly. If your arrows are hitting low, you would adjust the speed of your scope down slightly. Again, a variable speed crossbow scope with illumination is a fantastic option for those um, who shoot a little further. Um, whether it's practice um, or maybe you're hunting on the edge of the field and might have a little bit further shots. Next, we have range finding crossbow scopes. Here we have the Burris Oracle X and the Garmin Zero, both range finding crossbow scopes. The advantage of range finding crossbow scopes is one, they do the range finding for you. So you're not juggling between your crossbow and your range finder. Um, the second and one of the biggest advantages that they offer is they provide you with one aiming point. So they are both smart range finding scopes in that they range the animal and once calibrated, they will put the aim point exactly where it needs to be for say for a 47 yard shot or a 53 yard shot. So you don't have the confusion of multiple aiming points um, you know, th that's associated with other types of crossbow scopes. So again, we have the Burris Oracle X and the Garmin Zero. Both of them offer some different features. Uh, both of them do offer um, a remote, so you can activate the scope with just the press of a button. Um, they're easy to sight in, and um, I would say check legality um, in the state that you live in, just to make sure that they are legal uh, for use in your area. Um, 
One final thing that I'll talk about is a scope bubble level, as shown here. Um, for a crossbow, I think this is a very important piece of equipment because it tells you if you're holding your crossbow perfectly level. Um, the reason why that's important is if you can't or tilt your crossbow, um, even a little bit, it makes a big difference in your point of impact at long range. So by adding a scope level to your crossbow, you can ensure that right before the shot, your crossbow is level, and this will dramatically reduce the amount of left and right hits that you have um, that are off target, especially at longer ranges. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, go to www.10pointcrossbows.com.